With less than three weeks until the midterm elections, President Trump is serving up the red meat issue of immigration to his base. He's making major moves to ramp up the border battle, seizing on a political issue south of the border. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the very latest on that, Dave. And one, immigration has been a very effective issue for mm -hmm. the president thus far. We'll see if it carries over this time. President Trump is seizing on the immigrant caravan heading north from Central America toward the U.S. border. It appears to be an attempt to make border security the crisis of the month, rallying his Republican base to turn out and vote in the midterm elections, including the president's threat to call out the U.S. military to close the U.S.-Mexican border border. As many as 4,000 migrants are making their way from Honduras to Guatemala and north to Mexico with their sights set on the U.S. border. <laughs> Groups are sleeping in shelters and accepting food and money from strangers. Many say they have fled violence in their home countries, some with little more than the clothes on their back. After crossing into Guatemala on Monday, the next major border is Mexico, where the government has deployed hundreds of police officers aboard 727s to deal with the caravan. Many migrants will be told to return home. Some will be allowed to seek asylum. Geronimo Gutierrez is the Mexican ambassador to the United States. There is a humanitarian crisis going on, and we need to call it what it is. But President Trump is lashing out at the caravan, alleging on Twitter the onslaught includes many criminals. He threatened to deploy the military to the U.S. border. Since the president suspended his controversial family separation policy in June, illegal border crossings have skyrocketed. According to unpublished Border Patrol data, there were more than 16,000 family members arrested in September, an 80 percent increase over July. Border Patrol agents tell CBS News they're swamped and seeing more and more large groups crossing together. One official says on September 20th, the Border Patrol encountered 275 adults and children. On October 2nd, 164 adults and children. On 60 Minutes, Leslie Stahl asked the president if he would return to his family separation policy. Frankly, when you don't do separate, when you allow the parents to stay together, Okay, when you allow that, then what happens is people are going to pour into our country. So are you going to go back to that? Well, we're looking at a lot of things. And tonight, Reuters reports the Mexican Foreign Ministry says it plans to ask the United Nations Refugee Agency for help in coordinating with Central American governments. Thousands of Hondurans, Salvadorans, and Guatemalans may now be seeking refugee status at Mexico's southern border, especially if the American border is closed mm. off. Juan, we'll have to see what happens here. Indeed we will. All right, Dave, thank you.